47, that's where we topped out this afternoon. Not as warm as we thought we would be this morning, but anything to help get the snow melting after quite a surprise yesterday. But right now, live Doppler 8 first alert radar is clear. You're just seeing ground clutter on the radar. No more rain or snow is heading this way for the time being. We'll just be left with clear skies overnight, and maybe a few hours we'll see some patchy fog. Look for lows in the mid-30s, 34 here in Columbia. And our book calling for a major storm. And we have one more cool night before we really start to get into the swing of spring. All of that forecast coming up right after the break on Cumulate News at 6. Now, your live Doppler 8 first alert weather. Welcome back, one and all. It is 6-11, and we have another look over the Lake of the Ozarks in HD. The sun, glad to see it stay up longer this time. We get to see it glisten off of the lakes as we speak. But right now, heading back inside, it's nice to see a dry skin of live Doppler 8 first radar. You're just picking up ground clutter around Kansas City and around the St. Louis radar. That is not rain. We are done with that for at least the next 48 to 72 hours. We did have some rain earlier this morning as that low pressure system continued to scoot off towards the east. But as it does so, it pushes not only the moisture out, but all the clouds too. And we were left basking in plenty of sunshine. That definitely allowed us to warm us up and melt off quite a bit of snow, or at least get us going towards melting off quite a bit of snow. 45 is our temperature in St. Louis, 57 up in Kirksville, 50 at our capital, 52 in West Plains, 54 down to the southwest in Joplin, right in the Four Corners area. Checking our neighbors around the viewing area, with the exception of Columbia and Rollo at 47 and 49 respectively, everybody's in the 50s still. 56 in Moberly and Paris, 52 in Mexico, 50 over in Herman. And here in Columbia, we are sitting at 47. We actually went back to our high temperature this afternoon with plenty of sunshine and a low humidity at 50% with winds light out of the west southwest at 9 miles per hour. A quick check on our almanac to see where we topped out today. Again, we topped out at 47 after starting off at 33 early this morning. We were on average with our low, but below average with our high. And early this morning, as the rain moved on out, we did manage to pick up just a touch of rain at the rain bucket at the airport. A water view of things shows the satellite radar composite painting that low pressure system now heading off to the north and to the east where those folks don't need any more rain or snow. But for us, we're under control of the big blue H, this nice high pressure giving us southerly winds and feeding us a lot of warm moist air that will in time erode plenty of the snow in as little as a day or two. Here it is in precip cast as we put the maps into motion. We continue to push that system on off towards north and to the east. We'll just be quiet. It's nice to be quiet for a change. And as that high pressure continues to bring in southerly winds, we will enjoy plenty of warm air that will be coming in. And it will come in with full authority. Just to show you that I am not pulling anyone's chain, we are pretty confident about this forecast. Here's precip cast picking up some of the clouds earlier this afternoon, but as we go into the overnight hours, I'm only stopping it at 4 a.m. because while the skies may be clear, some of the areas that have picked up snow due to the light winds and some evaporation, we could see some fog possible in some areas. So if you do see some fog later tonight, just slow down on the roads, take your time, and you should get to where you're going without too much mess or fuss. And as we head into Wednesday afternoon, just a few high clouds here and there, but we will have another beautiful sunny day. Quick check on temperatures as the roll will top out tonight. We will see temperatures drop into the mid to upper 30s, maybe a few 40s around Marshall and off to the west towards Kansas City. But look at where we top out in the afternoon. N low to mid 60s. That sounds pretty nice compared to where we were today and yesterday. So your forecast for tonight, mostly clear except for a few areas of fog. 34 degrees for our low. Looking ahead toward tomorrow, 65 with plenty of sunshine, but looking ahead towards the next five days, we are seeing a wonderful St. Patrick's Day for you, mostly sunny at 73. A few uh, thunderstorms on Friday, but we will be quiet and warm for the weekend with our next chance for thunderstorms coming in on Tuesday. <laughs>